Uh, this morning we're in the beautiful Nakuda Bay, uh, a bit of a bit of a different height today, heading uh, across a ridge uh, from Nakuda Bay into Collinsville Track. So uh, a little bit of track to follow, so we'll see how it goes. So the first sort of 400 metres vertical climb is uh, marked, but. Uh, Still quite rough, but a yeah, uh, bush to push through. Hopefully, once we get up past that, it'll um, flatten out a bit, which will make it a bit easier. Here we go. Oh, beautiful open flag up here. It's bringing half the forest with him. We've uh, made it up to the ridge line, about uh, 400 metres um, elevation. So I've got my two brothers with me today, Warren, who uh, came with me on Canyon Creek, and uh, Graham. So uh, we'll make our way along the ridge. One of our main concerns today is lack of water. So Warren came up here uh, a couple of weeks ago, dropped off some water on uh, 0.727, so uh, hopefully it's still there, so we can hydrate with. So uh, along the, this ridge line there's uh, remnants of a, uh, an old fence, which we think marks the uh, boundary of the uh, Makuta Bay farm that used to exist here. That was about 1500 acres, so uh, now it's all gone back predominantly into uh, native bush. We've made it up to 0.515, nice uh, clear trail um, up from the Mamrangi sign but uh, I think the trail finishes here and we'll just carry along the ridge line and the uh, tree line's opened up a bit, um, some uh, nice beech trees up here so it's a great day, fantastic, nice and sunny. Made up to 0.727 and likely it appears as though our uh, stash of water that Warren brought up a week or so ago is still here so uh, that'll keep hydration a bit better. So we've uh, got past 0.727 which has somewhat of a trick point. As we've come down the ridge we can see out down towards uh, Havelock and the Plora Sounds on the uh, northern side of the ridge. Uh, 641. It's come a bit open now. We've got um, some uh, open grass here. It's still quite a rocky spur that we're traveling along the ridge and we've come across a, uh, several groups of goats and certainly lots of goat signs. So uh, it's been uh, four and a quarter hours to get to this point. So uh, we'll see how it keeps going. It's going to be a fairly long day I think. a bit of a patch of onga onga here and we'll try and make sure we keep well away from that. So we've made the 0.655 and gone to some nice open beach forest again. Um, so we've got uh, two more uphill points. It's taken um, just a fraction over five hours to get to here so uh, we're doing okay. So I'm still seeing plenty of goats that have been coming along um, the ridge as well, so uh, it'd be nice if someone came up here and got rid of those. So we've made it to 
0.863 is the highest point we've got today. Um, a little bit of navigation required to get from 0.766, so not quite as clear along the ridge lines as it has been. Um, there's a survey pole here. It's taken about seven hours to get to here, so, uh, so hopefully it'll get downhill. Um, about another 1.7k until we get to Cullen's Hill Track. Snail, just the shell. Slightly darker on the upper side of the shell. I've made it to the uh, Collinsville track about 8 hours 15, so that's a bit of a welcome sight. Um, should be about 2 hours on from here, um, but we'll probably call in and have a look at the old village and, uh, and mining site that's up on the up by the saddle on the way. Remnants of an old hut and chimney that looks. So we've arrived at the uh, derelict hut. Looks a little bit locked currently. Another old stone fireplace next to the uh, derelict hut. So we've made it out the end of the miner's track. Um, ten and a half hours all up, so it was a long day. Um, spectacular views up on the ridge, um, great to see some snails. Quite a long haul, however, once we got onto the, the Cullen's Miners track down here to the, uh, the car park. So, we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this, hit the subscribe button. If you've got any questions, add them in the comments below. Thanks, see you next time.